everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jojo and today I'm here to sh share with you guys a two-part series. This is called Acing the Base and it's all about getting your canvas right, getting your skincare down before you even worry about makeup. I'm really passionate about this. I wanted to go through the different kinds of skins, the skincare that I use and also talk about more affordable ways of doing it because now that I know a little bit about the skin, I also feel like some companies are getting a little bit crafty with their marketing and trying to rip you off. I am a trained esthetician so I know a bit about the skin and I'm excited to share my knowledge with you guys. If you're new to my channel please like and subscribe, leave me some comments, leave me some love. If you guys are interested please stay tuned and yeah, thanks for watching. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little bit tough getting through even my hair and makeup today. But I just feel like waves of nausea here and there and I'm like, I just want to get through this and get it done. But today in particular, I wanted to cover skincare. On top of even just the topical things that you put on your skin, first and foremost, you want to do two things. First of all, you want to be drinking a ton of water. And we all know this, we've all heard it, but it's like this conscious thing where you have to remind yourself to do it. And another thing is sunscreen. Sunscreen is absolutely important to wear even on those cloudy days, even on those winter days because the sun is the number one ager of your skin. Those UV rays are just going to damage your skin a lot faster. Ooh, my cat, she's trying to... She's getting up in my grill. I'm going to talk to you guys about your skin type because the first thing you want to know with dealing with your skin and how to take care of it is your skin type. That's kind of the first and foremost. This will set the base for choosing your foundation, choosing your moisturizer, choosing your cleanser, everything. So I'm going to start with an oily skin type. And you're going to know this just by larger pores around this area. It's going to get a little bit shiny and oily up here. Around here you might have some comedones, aka blackheads on your chin. If there is an overproduction of oil, for me at the moment it is very very hormonal because I'm pregnant so I kind of get more breakouts around here just this part right here it's like hormones and sometimes if it is more cystic acne then it is geared more towards hormonal and it is something that you should probably reach out to to a doctor or a dermatologist or anything like that but basically if you have just a steady oil production it is a good thing and it can be managed oils are what keeps your skin naturally hydrated and moisturized so oils are a great thing you don't want to strip them you don't want to be completely matte you just want to manage them so that is your oily skin type for your dry skin type this is kind of going to be identified with more of a tightness in your skin. After you wash your face, you'll really feel it. If it's tight, you'll have more dry, flaky areas. You will be able to tell. You can get a combination of the two, but generally something will be more, will be more leaning more oily or more dry. For a normal skin type, this is more categorized for an age group. Um, when I look at my boys, for example, their skin is flawless. It's amazing. And that is because the cell turnover when, when they're such a small child is really, really fast, as it was for us. As we get older, uh, we come across a lot of things that damage our skin over time. The sun, especially, is a huge culprit of that, is a huge culprit of aging fast pollution, dehydration, tea, coffee, alcohol, all those things. In terms of knowing your skin type, another thing to note that's really important is that we kind of get a little bit mixed up when we think, oh, I have sensitive skin, so that must be my skin type. That's not a skin type, it's a, it's a skin condition. I have mature skin, that must be a skin type. Mature skin, again, is just part of aging, it's just a condition. So basically, the only skin types you can really have a normal, dry, or oily, or a combination of both. A mature skin is more going to fall under the category of dry skin. So if you've got a more mature skin, mature, mature? If you've got a more mature skin, then head for a more dry, I'm saying, I'm going to like 40s, 50s, up, you know, above. Because just naturally over time the oils just kind of come out of your skin and it's doing its own thing. It's good to head towards more of a more of a dry skin type formula, if that makes sense. Sensitivity, again, just be mindful. Rose water is amazing for that. It definitely helps soothe any irritation. It's a go-to all around. Let's move on to the skincare that I use. I have used like Dermalogica, I've used more expensive brands, and I always go back to this one brand. It's affordable, it's doable, and I've also got my little pieces in there that I buy from TJ Maxx for like 
fine. It does not have to be an expensive venture. I think what hacks me off about these brands is that it's too much. When you don't know a lot about the skin, it just gets way too much and you don't know where to start. And Dermalogica can be overwhelming or any big brand like this can be overwhelming because they have, they have, oh my goodness, okay, it's even giving me a headache to think about. They have lines for everything. They have a whole, you know, cleanser, toner, um, moisturizer, serum, night eye, whatever, all of it for an oily skin, and then another one for a dry skin, another one for a mature skin, another one for this skin, that skin, and it just gets so overwhelming, you do not know where to start. My skincare of choice is Julep. Now, I know they've been in a little bit of hot water with their parent company going bankrupt. I was so upset when I saw that the line was being taken out of Ulta that I did top up on a few things. And I've been doing a little bit of research. I don't know too much about it. I've been doing a little bit of research into what has happened to their company. And I think from what I understand, it has changed ownership. I think the thing that I really love about it is that it simplifies skincare. It doesn't categorize it for dry or oily. There are a couple of products that are geared more towards oily skin or dry skin, but I feel like these products just worked great for me. Coming into my 30s, I want hydration in my skin. I want products that are almost a little bit oily so that it kind of counteracts what's already going on with my skin. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel heavy or anything. It's just working with the oils that I already have. Okay, so I've got a handful of products that I use from Julep. And I start with the Love Your Face. Love your bare face hydrating cleansing oil. This is amazing. It's a whole lot of natural oils in it. It doesn't leave your skin with a film. It doesn't leave it oily. It just creates a beautiful and amazing, easy peasy way of removing your makeup. It literally just dissolves your makeup. I like to use this with the cognac sponge. I usually I usually wet this under like really hot water so that it helps along your, my mascara especially. So this is my first choice of like getting rid of my makeup. This is my second choice, they call it the double cleanse. This is the Love Your Bare Face Detoxifying Cleansing Stick. This is awesome because it's basically just a solid stick that you roll up and I, it's got this cap on it just to protect it. Like when my skin is wet I just kind of roll it over my face and um, scrub it on with something else. But this is my choice of cleanser. It's very straightforward, it's so travel friendly. Like, look at this, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I like to tone using a very unusual product, but I learned about this at school and it is probably, hands down, one of the best things that I have. It's very affordable, it's about $7. I get it from TJ Maxx, you can pay $11 on Amazon. Either way, it's very affordable. It's the eight ounce bottle of rose water and glycerin. Now you can buy this just as rose water. I choose to get glycerin because it is a natural hum humectant, which basically means that it's drawing moisture from the air into your skin. Whether you've got oily or dry skin, moisture is what you want. Rose water is an amazing toner. It helps rebalance the pH level in your skin. It soothes any irritation, especially with acne. It can be very uncomfortable. This is probably one of my favorite products and I would highly suggest, even without buying a skincare range, this is where you wanna go. You want rose water. It's great for any skin type, especially a more sensitive skin type. This is the way to go, so go rose water. So after I've done my rose water, I'm gonna go in with my serum. Serum, there are so many serums that you can buy, but I generally like to stick with one brand. And I have the Boost Your Radiance Reparative Rose Hip Seed Facial Oil. Now I use this because this is a little bit heavier. It's more of an oil kind of serum based product. But if you have a really, really oily skin type, then I can see how this is gonna be a little bit heavier than what you want it to be. So I like to focus on the areas that just need a little bit of help. You know, I've mentioned it a few times. I just hit I just hit 30. I've got some fine lines under my eyes. I've got some fine lines up here, and then I've got my crow's feet, you know, kind of thing going on. So I like to just put a couple of drops on my finger pat it around my eyes because the eye, your the skin around your eyes is very delicate. You don't want to be pulling at it or tugging at it or scrubbing at it or anything. Just very lightly tap it around my eyes and move it up on my forehead. It's good to go upward motion. So kind of move upward as you're massaging it in. If you're putting it on your, on your neck, move it up. Don't drag down, move it up. Okay guys, we're going against gravity here and it all helps with aging. So I like to use this, especially on those areas that are just kind of gonna age a little bit faster. Um, especially around the eyes, forehead, the neck, 
the places that you would generally see somebody age quickly go on with your serum or your oil and it's going to help that hydration and just help keep things nice and smooth youthful radiant and just overall i'm not going to say line free because wrinkle free because it's we're humans we're going to age sorry guys that's part of the deal for the rest of my face i go on with my dream big stick serum by julep i this is the nightly renewal press serum with bha i think it's also got hyaluronic acid and it again this is so travel friendly it's so easy you just twist it up and i just kind of bang 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 on my neck move it up massage it in and i go to bed with this and my uh rosehip seed oil and bob's your uncle i feel so nice and hydrated and moisturized and i can just feel my skin it feels amazing in the morning during bedtime your your cells and your skin are working overtime to just keep keep going and turning over and making your skin as beautiful as it can so you want to help that along it's at its like peak time with your body temperature to let products get in and work and do their job so it's very important that we use a night cream or a night serum or something that is going to work during the night. The only thing that I'm going to suggest with these is that they are more, I'm not going to say oil based, they're a little bit heavier than just a cream. So for me I don't go to bed straight away when I wash my face. I like to give it a few, like maybe an hour or so, I watch some TV or something before I go to bed and then I lie down because you are kind of getting, you, you might get the products all over your pillow and stuff but it's not a huge problem but you really want them to do their best working into your skin so I like to sit with this on my skin for a while and just let it do its work. But during the day I have a couple of options that I like to use in conjunction to the big dream big I have got the you got this it's actually what it's called you got this pressed serum daily moisturizer this does not have an SPF in it I know that Julep do have an SPF I have a sunscreen I have not tried it I've heard it's amazing though this is just a daily moisturizer in a pressed serum form I have found that this um, kind of soaks into my skin a lot quicker during a lot quicker when I do put it on which would make it great before makeup application just in the morning spray my rose water on and I put this on and I'm good to go in terms of my makeup prep I like to go in with the philosophy purity made simple moisturizer ultra light moisturizer that is such a mouthful you can get this from Ulta you, you could get the whole Julep range from Ulta but I'll leave their website down below because the great thing about Julep is you can buy a lot of these products in sets which makes it a lot cheaper this you can just buy pick up from Ulta I think the philosophy range is at a number of places this is a great moisturizer it's a very light it works for dry skin and oily skin and it's just an all-around universal moisturizer it does not have any SPF in it again but I find my I get my SPFs out of my BB cream even my foundation today you'll guys see in my part two video of acing the base really I've got two little boys I'm not out, I don't you know I'm, I'm not out and about and out in the sun and stuff a lot I generally stay home and do the dishes so life of housewife so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of the best kept secrets of skincare that you do not need to be spending a lot now a lot of people out there are on a budget especially with your skincare makeup all of it can get very expensive so to keep it cheap there are two three things that I'm gonna recommend to you guys that I think are a must even at least to start off with okay okay number one this is probably my best kept like beauty secret uh, it's probably not a secret now well, you guys know that oil dissolves your makeup better than anything else. I tried makeup removers, did not like them. My skin did not like them. Sometimes I get irritation around my eyes, like it just wasn't into it. So I tried coconut oil. What? And coconut oil was one of the best ways to remove my makeup. The first thing you want to do when you're choosing your coconut oil is to choose an unrefined virgin coconut oil and that is basically the way that it's processed and this has kind of still got the smell to it so I wouldn't recommend it if you didn't like it if you didn't like coconut sometimes it can be you know a little bit inclusive to the people that do like me I love it coconut oil coconut in general is one of my favorites but coconut oil is amazing because it just dissolves your makeup like nothing else what I would do is a lot of people don't like because it, it can be very thick it melts very quickly on your fingers all you have to do is put a little bit of on your fingers rub it move it around in conjunction to the coconut oil I like to use just cotton pads but I like to run them under a really hot water just to let everything kind of melt away a little bit easier and it also does get the excess coconut oil off if you're not into cleansing and you don't care or you just don't have the time or whatever it is just use your sonic brush 
amazing. Can cleanse and exfoliate all at once. This is the way to go. This is a one-off purchase of $40. So in the long run, it's not very expensive, but this is a great way just to keep your face cleansed and exfoliated. The last thing is, of course, my rose water, because this is basically toning your skin at the same time. It's rebalancing the pH in your skin. It's just doing, it's doing work in itself. Like this is an amazing product and it's so cheap. Come on. If you're going to finish off your cheap routine of skincare, finish it off with a thin, thin layer of coconut oil. Again, this it can be a natural moisturizer. It does have a few natural properties in it, even to help with UV rays. I can use it for so many hair, like everything. Coconut oil is amazing. Like even just search on YouTube, benefits of coconut oil. You'll find something, I guarantee. Guys, that is everything for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Join me for part two of my Acing the Base series. This part I, need, I talk about found out your fit foundation application and just really how to nail that when you've already nailed your base through your skincare get your foundation down if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and leave me some comments leave me some love because i love hearing from you guys oh my goodness the response to my last video was out of this world awesome and i'm so appreciative of it i really ooh, makes my heart glow like all i did was like a um a review on the new Too Faced bronzer and I got a mean response. I got awesome like feedback and subscribers coming in. It was awesome. So thank you guys so much for that and join me again for my next video. See you later.